the new Hotel California in Santa Barbara, California that's just recovered from, well, you've seen it all over the world. You've seen the news about the fire and the mudslides here that happened. And one of the things that the director of education here at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival 10-10-10 competition said is that these students have resilience and persistence and were able to produce remarkable films once again the 14th year that we're doing this for Santa Barbara International Film Festival. This is one of my favorite events. I'm Lynn Fairley and I'm introducing the person that well, made this all happen. Please tell me your name and why you got started and when. Uh, my name is Mary Beth Reardon, and I got started and when. Sort of stops and starts. I originally got started back in the 90s. Um, I came up here and was doing special event planning and fundraising in Los Angeles. And uh, we have a family foundation that is involved with children's education and my my special is, interest is in arts education so when I moved up to Santa Barbara I uh, fell in love with the film festival and talked to their board and asked them what they were doing for kids and at the time they weren't doing anything but since, nothing at all uh, no not back then but they've since then it's flourished and uh, with the efforts of so, several remarkable people it's become what it is today and we have the 10 10 10 program and the Mike's field trip on uh, the Apple box and uh, I know I'm missing one but uh, we have and then we have the, the summer camp the so it's we have some wonderful um, programs for young people and that's extraordinary because that's taken place in a short 14 year period of time now 10 10 10 stands for what Oh, uh oh, you're going to test me. I know it's 10 days, 10 films, 10 minutes, I believe. That's, right. That's exactly right. So these students that are from local high schools and colleges in Santa Barbara have 10 days to produce a 10 minute film and there's 10 films. So we're gonna try and get as many interviews as we can do today. And that's why you hear all the commotion in the background. Uh, can you imagine how hard that is? I it's really incredible. I mean, to, to put anything together in that short of time, but with any kind of quality and, and value to it, and um, you know, and that some of these kids are still in high school. There's some college students, and they they have varying levels of background education in this, and um, some go on to really do some great things. And it's uh, someone was just telling me that one of his students. Uh, is prominently featured in the Phantom Thread. Have you seen the Phantom Thread? I have. I have. It's an amazing film. Yeah, and Daniel Day Lewis is uh, up for an Oscar. So. Yes, and it, and he's he's declared he's going to quit Hollywood shortly after this. I know. We'll miss him, but that's the way he's always worked. He said that he he's always taken big chunks of time off because it was more important to live life so that when you were acting, you were portraying a real person and. Well, how about that? Well, you know, we had him here at the festival, oh, a couple of years ago, and I happened to be sick that night, and it's one of the only ones I've missed, and I so regret having missed it. I hope he gets back this year, but I haven't seen him on the list yet. I don't think he's coming back here. I wish he would. It was uh, it, That was a marvelous event, and, yeah, and he is retiring. But, uh, maybe he'll win an, an Oscar this year. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, now, what we're talking about is we're, this really, this event kickstarts the entire festival. Uh, and it's on for the next 10 days, starting tomorrow night with the opening night, the Arlington Theater in Santa Barbara, and going all the way to the 10th of February when these films, these 10 films, will be shown at the Arlington Theater here in Santa Barbara. So you have plenty of time to get here, and that's free to the public, which is another amazing thing. I think that you. Uh, are kind of responsible for the fact that they get to be free. Well, that's, that's, we really want as many people to see these films as possible and to get other young people out to see them and be inspired by what Yeah, so like we just said, you, you can have a very big career starting right here at 101010. 10, 10. 
That's right. Thank you very much for your interview today. It's Thank always you. a pleasure to see you, and it does seem like a year goes by really quickly, doesn't it? It does indeed. Thank you, Lynn. Oh, my pleasure. We'll see you this week. Okay. Bye-bye.